general support of DRM Digital Rights Management for OpenBSD or BSD platforms in general. Do not mistake this DRM with another DRM that you see often on Linux as well as OpenBSD or FreeBSD. Another DRM stands for Direct Rendering Manager is a subsystem of a Linux kernel that is responsible for a GPU acceleration and things like that. This is available already on OpenBSD. I have uh, shown you on the OpenBSD release 7.1 that even this DRM has been updated to the latest version from the upstream. So digital rights management is something that you need if you want to watch Netflix, Amazon Prime or even listen to the Spotify music. But it's not available on OpenBSD which is not inherently a bad thing in my opinion because it prevents many bad habits such as binge watching. In case of Spotify, someone can make an argument, a very compelling argument that yeah, I would like to listen to music uh, from Spotify when I actually work on OpenBSD and this is totally valid and 100% correct specific, uh, especially for those people who do not have the archive of songs and uh, stuff like that i have fortunately archives of many songs and uh, they are available on my uh, samba server but uh, when i'm on the move i do not have to access to the, i don't have access to those songs and it would be very nice that if i can for example play Spotify uh, from OpenBSD or on OpenBSD. So until very recently, I didn't know that it is possible that, if we can, that somebody can actually play a Spotify on OpenBSD. So a viewer of my channel, Tim, has commented in one of my videos that using NCSpot, uh, a person can actually play a Spotify. So NCSpot is a, a Spotify... Uh, client is of course is an unofficial plat uh, client that is uh, written in rust and also it has an anchor says gui that means that you can actually run it from the console so there is no uh, graphical user interface that you need for x11 or things like that and also it supports openbsc which is very chat based of them and so, so as you can see it, it supports many platforms even like a termox which is fantastic and let's open the uh, a screenshot it's very beautiful uh, intuitive and to me maybe uh, spotify they need to kind of get rid of their official client and use this client instead to be honest it's, it it makes much more sense but nonetheless one thing that I found very interesting was on the memory footprint between comparison between NCSpot and the official Spotify client. NCSpot in total uses around maximum 50 megabytes of memory, whereas official Spotify client, which which is 100% correct in my opinion, because I checked it on Linux and the number actually match, matches up. It takes around one gigabyte of memory, which is crazy for a client. And this comparison is just like, is mind blowing. However, there is a caveat if you want to use NCSpot and that is that you need to have a Spotify premium account, which costs around like $10 euros per month, which is a bit overpriced, I would say. It doesn't also make sense, at least for me, I'm a cheapskate. Let's be honest, and I don't, I never paid for a Spotify a premium, but for the sake of this video to showcase you NCSpot because I found it absolutely phenomenal uh, application, I have activated the three months trial and I'm going to showcase you. So keep in mind that if you want to use NCSpot, you need to have a, a Spotify premium account. It's not possible with the free account, unfortunately. So. Before opening up the application, if you want to install a spy, uh, NC spot, you can install it from port. So do as pkg add nc a spot. It's a very small application. It installs pretty fast. I have already installed it on my system. So I just open it up and I also I have logged in. So if you open it for the first time, 
he asks you he asks you to in, to enter your credentials and then afterwards he opens your spotify homepage, which we, we are going to see so this is my spotify homepage. as you can see uh, this is a list on all the tracks and stuff like that then there is an album artists that i have listened to and also the playlist that i have created so for example uh, if i want to play this rap playlist i can just go to, uh, like with the arrow keys or even you can use the vim keys like a jk stuff like that and then press enter then it starts playing the song and if i want to pause it i need to press the shift p and if i want to see the content of this uh, playlist i simply can play press the f1 then it goes to this playlist and this is the list of the, all the songs that i have on the rap playlist and if you want to search for something just simply press f2 and type whatever you want let's say linkin park and then it lists down all the stuff tracks from linkin park albums from linkin park artists that they have collaborated with and playlists that people created podcast which is i don't think is correct but nonetheless and if you want to see more key bindings just simply press the question mark and then you see the all the key bindings here by the way you can actually overwrite the key bindings uh, if you modify the config.toml and the key bindings is sort of like a mixture of the vim key binding and uh, mpv key binding so for example mpv also has the volume up and down binded to the plus and minus as well as the previous and next and stuff like that one thing that i found it very surprising was that the backspace actually goes to the previous page so i had a bit of the trouble initially to find out how i, I can go to the previous page and i found it okay it's backspace is very intuitive actually key binding and if you want to pause it you need to press the shift p this one is a bit unintuitive in my opinion because most of the media player application they have a space bind uh, binded to the uh, pause and play or resume things like that and of course if you want to quit you can simply just press q but nonetheless you can actually override all these uh key bindings and customize it based on what you prefer yeah, that's all for this video and as always, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great time. Cheers.